Hi everyone, welcome back to Clock Shop. This is Jim with JR Clocker on eBay. Today, I'm going to give you a little bit different look at a balance on a on a clock. Um, a lot of people are getting movements from me and they're putting them in the case and they're contacting me, asking me about uh, it, it'll only run for a little bit. Most times, it's the balance. I want you to listen to this. Hear how uneven it is? Now I'm gonna turn this movement a little bit on the wall. Now it's a little bit going the other way. See how much better that sounds? All right. I have an amplifier on it so you can hear it a little bit better. But I'm going to show you on this kind of movement how you make that change without moving it like I just did on the wall. And I'm going to put it out of balance again. I'm going to take this uh, brass wire right here and I'm going to push it this way. Hear how it's out of balance? It's struggling to get to this side, all right? So to, to correct that, you just take your finger and you'll see that it moves a little bit on the shaft. Just a little bit. Trial and error. Now you can do this from inside the case. If, if the clock is in the case, this one, it would be on a uh, on a what we call a seat board because it, it attaches from here. But it, if it was in the case, and let's say it was front uh, loaded or back loaded, whatever, you would just come in here, come into your case, put one hand down here, don't pull on it, but just put one down here, and then go like this, and that will. putting it back where it approximately was because I moved a little bit on the wall. Now you come in and do the opposite and all you're doing is putting a little pressure. You're trying to do the same thing. See how this goes over? You're just trying to do the same thing. Now it's struggling. Uh, I didn't get it enough. As I said, it's trial and error. Sometimes if you have enough room, you can come over there and put it over here and then just go like that. See how far it's off now? It's really far off. But one more tip before we go, and that is if you have a grandfather clock and some movements or some directions, maybe you don't have the directions for the clock anymore, but some of them will say, take the pendulum, move it all the way over to the wood on the one side, and just let it swing. And it will self-balance. There are some clocks that have self-balancing um, uh, verges, or this part here will self-balance if you over-swing it. This one doesn't do that, but uh, many of modern grandfather clocks do. Anyway, thank you for stopping by and we'll see you next time.